Hey everybody, and welcome back to Morgellons Discussion and Microscopy Videos. I'm your host, Jeremy Murphy, and today I'm very excited to announce that we're going to be releasing the Morgellons Survey 2nd Edition. And these questions are going to be directed towards uh, being able to help physicians understand how to get Morgellons patients to adhere to the treatment regimes towards eventual remission. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that button down below. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Definitely appreciate the questions that you're rolling in here. And so I definitely want to answer those definitely today. And uh, then we're going to do the weekend thing because uh, it's summertime. I'm having a great time out there going down to the park, working out. Going to try to hit the water park hopefully sometime soon here. Um, yeah. All right. And you need to get out of the house too. Get away from the YouTubes and uh, uh, but especially stay away from the crazies. The biggest problem with Morgellons are the crazies taking that word and defining it themselves. The research says very clearly that Morgellons is a skin condition. So if somebody starts talking with you about, well, Morgellons affects every system in the body, that's bullshit. And they are trying to screw you out of getting treatment. What you can do is go to the history of Morgellons research paper and you'll see right there the very first sentence Morgellons is a skin condition but what people want to do is they want you to believe that it's uh, this whole infectious thing that affects every organ in your body that you'll find Morgellons in your brain that you'll find Morgellons in your lung and the reason they want you to do that is because they want to get you into a sense of desperation they want you to feel hopeless like nobody's listening nobody cares except for them and they've got the cure for you so they'll oftentimes try to get you into these groups to where you're giving them money for like these therapy sessions and really all they're doing is just supporting the delusion that Morgellons is a multi-system thing that affects every organ uh, in every facet of your life but it doesn't Morgellons only affects the skin it's only ever a skin condition so the first rule is, if you hear somebody trying to tell you that Morgellons is anything other than a skin condition, run like hell because they are trying to screw you right out of all your money and probably try to get into your friends' wallets too. And they do that. I mean, they try to get the whole family on board saying, you know, oh, the medical community has turned their backs on everybody and, you know, it's a hopeless situation and, you know, you should be more supportive of your friends. And before you know it, you're both giving these idiots like $50 a month. Don't do that. You know, I appreciate everybody that's giving me $3 a month or $5 every time they've read my How to Photograph Morgellons article, which I'm going to include in the link description below. But... For these people that are trying to tell you that Morgellons is everything, that it affects the, the, the muscles, the skeleton, the endocrine function, the adrenals, all that stuff, nah. They're just trying to get you hooked on some kind of stuff that you don't need. You need to go to a doctor and get on some antibiotics because antibiotic therapy is the only treatment that's shown to heal the Morgellons disease condition. Dermatologists are getting more and more on board, but they only have the tools available to them. Same with infectious disease doctors and even Lyme disease specialists. They don't have any special bag of tricks. They've got the same bag of tricks that everybody else has. And fighting Lyme disease, fighting chronic syphilis, it's no easy feat. But it's something you definitely want to see a specialist for. What do you guys think? Let me know. Leave a comment down below. I don't know. I'm having too much fun this summer to see if I want to get back on here and start making routine videos. But uh, I'll consider the notion. All right. You guys have a great weekend. And we will see you soon. I promise.